All right, this is the Karen versus Jonah challenge. And this week, we are gonna try not to laugh, not to even smile no as smiles. the other person cracks a joke. And if we do, then we get squared in the face. Try not to laugh along with us. Let's have a go. Why don't seagulls fly over the bay? Why? Because then they'd be bagels. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about the fire at the circus? No. It was intense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why aren't koalas considered bears? Why? They don't have the right qualifications. Wow. Oh, Very good. Why do ducks have feathers? I don't know. <laughs> to cover their butt cracks. That's terrible. Did you hear about the cheese factory that exploded in France? I did not. There was nothing left but debris. How do you measure a snake? In it? In it? How did the hipster burn his mouth? How? Oh. He ate the pizza before it was cool. <laughs> what in the ear? Sorry, you turned. Oh. What does a house wear? An address? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> I couldn't believe the highway department called my dad a thief. But when I got home, the signs were all there. <laughs> <laughs> what do you get from a pampered cow? <laughs> what? <laughs> we didn't even get to the punchline. What do you get from a pampered cow? Spoiled milk. <laughs> oh. A horse walks into the bar, the bartender says, hey, the horse replies, sure. What's the best thing about Switzerland? I don't know. I don't either, but the flag is a huge plus. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I stayed up all night and tried to figure out where the sun was. Then it dawned on me. Why were they called the Dark Ages? I don't know. Because there were a load of knights. <laughs> Are you starting to smile? <laughs>passage we're reading this week is Hebrews 12 1. It says this, as for us we have this large crowd of witnesses around us so then let us rid ourselves of everything that gets in the way and of the sin which holds on to us so tightly and let us run with determination the race that lies before us. passage isn't telling us to put on our trainers and go for a jog it's giving us one of the keys to full life perseverance produces powerful people when I was 12 I wanted to learn guitar so I followed some tutorials and gave it a go the first time I picked up a guitar it sounded terrible and the second time and the third time and hundreds of times after that it still sounded terrible not only did it sound bad, but it was so painful. My fingers were cramping and sore. And after all that, I still sounded bad, but I didn't give up. I pushed through the bad sound and the pain. I persevered and eventually I got it. The strings were making all the right sounds and I was so, so happy because I had worked really hard 
I had real determination and I had persevered. Perseverance isn't just for running or learning an instrument. It's about going the extra mile in that difficult family relationship. It's about being determined to complete that next school task to the best of your ability. It's about every aspect of life. Perseverance produces powerful people. So let's run with determination the race that lies before us. Lord, I just pray for the school as they come into this new term, this new season, that you will give them strength and the courage to overcome any obstacles, any hardships or any barriers that they may face and that they will come to know your goodness and they will know that nothing is impossible. No matter how hard or difficult that it seems at the time, that there there is reward and blessing once those hurdles are overcome. So I pray, Lord, that you take away any anxieties or any fears that anyone may have and give them a sense of peace and courage and a boldness as they step into this new term. Amen. It's time to live it. So whatever obstacles you're facing, whatever challenges lie ahead, perseverance produces powerful people. Step up to the challenge and face your obstacles with determination.